Hello, good day, and welcome again for another wonderful class like this. Uh, today we'll be looking at the continuation of where we stopped last time, which is our office staff. And in our previous class, we discussed office staff, the chairman, and managing directors. And today we'll be looking at uh, the following objective. At the end of the lesson, following objective, at the end of the lesson, the students should be able to understand uh, the, the following. One, we discuss board of directors and their duties. Board of directors and their duties. Now, one of the duties of the board of directors is they are good in, in making policies. Or we call it formulation of policies. In Preston International School, the proprietor is and his wife and some other individual, they form what we call the board of directors of Preston International School. They make policies or they formulate policies. You can call it in the layman language or they make the rules and regulations. Okay, that's the language. The rules and regulations that guide president. Why the managers like SMT they are the ones that execute this policy. So those are the functions of the few of the functions of the board of uh, directors. So I should explain company secretary and the duties of the company's secretary. The company secretary have told us earlier on that the person that writes the minutes of the meeting is the company secretary. Like in Preston International School now, who do you think we serve as the company secretary? Just guess. Okay. To me, uh, someone, someone like uh, the front desk officer can serve as the school secretary during the meetings. She can serve because she has known she, 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 she is familiar with most of the parents and most of the norms of the school, rules and guidelines of the school. Remember, the secretary must be very vast in the rules of the school and so many things about the, about the school. So she, she should be in that position of acting as the secretary in Preston. So that what I do, and also liaise with the chairman, the board of directors, and also the managers to see that meetings are held appropriately and everything that needs to be done is being taken place. Also, the difference between board of directors and company I think I've said already that the board of the director has that implement sorry, they, just, they, they make policies. They make policies. Now, the secretary is among the, 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 the sort of people that implement. Remember to us that the board of director, they formulate and they formulate policies while the remaining or the rest executive, they are the ones that implement. They make it come to pass, come to happen. And uh, if you're very uh, conversant with what we have been doing, in our GSS 1, GSS 2, SS 1, SS 2, we find that the secretary is also among the executive. Those are the people that implement the uh, rules and regulations that are being made by the board of uh, directors. Okay, here we come to an end here. Uh, uh, you take your Google Doc, most documents, scan document, the YouTube, we put so that you can go through them for more understanding. And remember, as I always say, please do your work on the Google Doc. It make it more easier for me to mark. I'll be very happy if uh, you keep on turning up your work on time, especially Chidi. Please turn your work on time and have a nice time. God bless you.